Hello, today's devotional can be found in Matthew chapter 12, verse 13. Then saith he to the men, Stretch forth thine hand, and he stretched it forth, and it was restored whole like as the other. Okay, if we stretch forth our hand in faith, believing that we shall receive something, believing that it will help us to restore our hand, or re extend our hand in faith. Blessings shall be restored to us that were once promised us in the pre-existence. Because we were, we, we all came from heaven. We all lived with Heavenly Father. And most of us came to earth. I say most of us because Lucifer, who was once a son of the morning, rebelled and ended up taking a third group of the hosts of heaven with him. And they are lost. They are children. Or no, they are spirits. And they are continually influenced influencing us to do evil. And the funny part is, Lucifer's not even going to rule perdition. Because he is just a spirit and will forever remain so. Cain, the son of Adam and Eve, a son of Adam and Eve, will rule perdition because he got a body, so he has a higher estate than Satan. So... If we stretch forth our hand in faith, understanding that it was faith that got us here, we shall have blessings restored unto us. And we shouldn't fear to stretch forth our hand in faith. We should use wisdom, but not be, be afraid. For the Lord is with us. Christ died so that we could stretch forth our hand in faith. And it means something. Because honestly, after the fall of Adam and Eve and before the atonement, we were in a fallen state. We were meant to die and that was it. But because of the atonement, we don't have to just die and that be it. We can have another life beyond mortality. Isn't that just a wonderful thing? And we shouldn't be afraid to embrace that for all it's worth. For our eternal life was restored unto us because of the atonement, yet we choose how happy we wish to be by our actions and by our preparation. And if we stretch forth our hand and do all we can, we will have a very happy eternal life because we shall be blessed. And even if we don't have the opportunity to hear the gospel and embrace those opportunities in this life, Heavenly Father will not abandon us. There is a spirit present. It is more like a classroom for those who have not yet heard. And through the living worthy, serving as proxies, the spirits of the dead may be able to have all the blessings that God wants them to have and through the atonement that we may have. Mortality is not the end, so stretch forth our hand in the effort that we may be able to enjoy this life and the next. It's our choice, though. And with that said, I love you all so very much, and I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.